Hello everybody, welcome back to Commonwealth Flipper. Welcome to the Commonwealth Cabin. You know, I've been dealing with an issue all morning and at some point I just realized I'm getting into an argument here with a customer, with a, with a buyer, and it's over a return. And it's over five bucks for goodness sake. And I'm like, forget this. We're gonna have to change course. But I do wanna talk about it today because it does relate to a few things that we talk about all the time. Have a ton of sales today for some really good money headed out of here today. Let's go take a look. But as always, of course, we're going to do three or four, maybe five sales, get into the topic a little bit later. First one's a bobblehead. And bobbleheads aren't always good. You folks have been reselling a while know that because you look up comps and stuff. But this one happened to be double branded. and Well, it's not really double branded. But there's a couple things that intrigued me about this one when I saw it. First, it was five bucks and it was still in the box. But the mascots for teams actually do pretty darn well because the mascots don't change. The mascots are the mascots. I mean, they might change their look a little bit as opposed to players. I don't think I have any player bobbleheads up here. But generic ones, well, I want to talk about that guy right there somewhere down the road because you'll see them on a picker video. But the players change all the time. And a year later, two year, years later, three years later, they're on a different team or not playing at all or whatever. And so the value actually goes down on a lot of them, unless they're like a Hall of Fame or something. But this one right here was branded, it had the mascot and it was branded WWE as well, Birdland Mania Bobblehead. And I'm like, hmm, that's interesting. Got a little crossover appeal. And sure enough, I bought it for five bucks, looked it up and it was going for around 50. I took an offer on this one for $46.85 plus shipping. By the way, welcome to all the new folks. Thanks for stopping by. Tons of new subscribers lately. We really appreciate it. My name is Kevin, by the way, if you've never seen me before. Sold some Tupperware. And last time I sold Tupperware, I didn't have the right amount of cups. I accidentally dropped one in when I picked it up. So this time I got the right amount. These little uh, tumblers, or I don't know what they're called. I used them growing up. I certainly remember them and I pick them up all the time, especially different colors. This lot I picked up really super cheap and it sold for $9.50 plus shipping. But if you're ever out there, even if you don't deal with Tupperware, if you ever find these cups with the sippy cup lids on top of them, the sippy cup lids for Tupperware tend to go for good money because they're hard to find because kids used to gnaw on that little sippy cup. <laughs> so keep an eye out for those. And we are going to get into this return here in a minute, but before I do, just returns in general. Have you been getting a lot lately? I have not been. It's been a long time since, well, I guess I had one last month. And they usually come in three, so I'm a little afraid what's going to happen. But this is a nice little sale here, something I picked up really cheap. And it's a, well, the book came out of its little compartment there. Oh, well, now I can't get it back in. Hmm. Oh, well. You can still see it. it's got the little blanket and an ornament and the Charlie Brown Christmas tree. Picked it up at a sale, listed it, sold really quick for $23.75 plus shipping. Now I'm gonna, this is gonna be like, tetra there we go, look at that. I did it. It'll probably come out now. I love the old Charlie Brown Christmas tree and that whole story is kind of cool. Next item I actually picked up at a sale. I, I walked past it, I saw it at a sale and I walked past it to see this other stuff over here and I'm like, eh. You know what? Everything's a little overpriced for reselling prices. And I almost didn't look at it. And I picked it up and it was only two bucks. I'm like, sweet. I'm going to have to show it to you here on the screen while I pick it up. It's a uh, football helmet, Budweiser football helmet. I got to make sure it's the right one because I have a few of these inflatable football things. So I have to double check because I thought there was a lot of blue in it. And I don't see any blue in this one. And you're looking at it right now. So if this isn't it, it's the one on the screen. It sold for $45, free shipping, but like I said, super light. And it should be pretty, pretty nice little quick profit on something easy like that. So it's gonna ship out at a 12 ounce rate. Totally not the right one, but I found the right one and it weighs about the same, so we should be good. So another Cutco knife, I've gotta find it. So I'll show it to you in just a second. Found it. it is three three seven what is it i don't even know what it is three seven two one it's a trimmer knife sold for sixty six dollars and fifty cents plus shipping on that one right there it's pretty good so let's talk about this return really quick and you know this kind of stuff it happens from time to time and sometimes it's miscommunication sometimes something's a little wonky and that's kind of what happened here let me show you the item somebody bought two hats two titleist hats 
and they're they're new hats one had a tag it didn't get returned with the tag at least one that i saw i see oh my wife is here happy anniversary babe by the way blue ridge mama is in trouble but we'll talk about that on a later episode back to the story so these hats were bought 19.99 free shipping both of them together so they sold for 40 bucks and as you can see here they're youth size right there and i had that listed in the listing and it was in the youth caps category so everything was right on it but it did say one size fits all but it one it's one size fits all for a youth category any anyway, rate person bought it got them they're like hey i misread this thing i didn't realize it was youth whatever you know can i send them back and i said like, sure send them back no problem and y'all i get a lot of packages from viewers that send stuff which i've got to get to all those and thank y'all and so that got sent back to the p.o box and i saw the return came in i'm like oh it's probably in my stack over there and they had opened up a return and i clicked on it and i gave them the return but it was for one hat i'm like hmm this is interesting. So I just gave him the full $19.99 back, one hat, and I didn't even look in the box to see if there was two in there. So a few days later, another return got opened for, I guess, the second hat. And I'm like, what in the world? Why wouldn't you send two hats back or whatever? And so I replied to the per. or no, I think, what did I, I'm trying to think of the order here. I sent a $15 return. Because I'm thinking, I'm paying for two different shipments to come. I, I just didn't quite understand what the heck was going on. And I'm like, well, I don't want to eat that cost. So I sent them that and they declined it. They're like, why am I not getting a full return? And I'm like, wait a minute. So I walked down here and I opened up the packages and I was like, okay, so both hats are in there. I'm like, this is still crazy though. I mean, they misread this thing. You know, one thing paying for the return shipping, but the original shipping with it. And it's like, hmm. And then when I had gone back up there, there was three more messages already. And I'm like, what is this? And they were saying, hey, you know, you do free returns. You should do, you know, return this other hat too. And I'm like, what in the world? And so I was processing it, but I didn't want to do anything until I read the other two messages. And I think they said something like, well, let's sp split the difference at $18. So basically $38 return for $40 worth of stuff. At that point, I'm like, just forget it. We'll just give you 40 bucks and be done with it. I decided to turn lemons into lemonade. So I think what we'll do is give one of these hats to Turner. Well, maybe he wants to keep it, but I don't know. Orange probably in his color. And I'll have Turner sign it and we'll auction it off for one of their charities on the next Whatnot auction, which is next Wednesday at 730. And they do a charity with uh, Compassion. For those of you that are new, every dollar, we do a thing in here, you know, dollar to save, dollar to spend, dollar to earn. And so the donate dollar on items that sell out of the merch store and stuff go to one of four different charities. One of them is Compassion, and the little boy they sponsor down in Haiti has a birthday coming up, I think, in two months. I think that's when it is. My wife's going to have to tell me. And so we'll take that money, and we'll give it to him. And I don't know what I'll do with the other hat. Maybe we'll see if Turner wants it. I think I've got it listed right now. You know, when you send that return, relist it. I think that's what it is right now. So forget that story for right now. What do you do when you have something that's clearly not your fault? They misread something. They said they misread something and they turn it back. Are you giving a full refund on that, including original shipping? Or are you giving a partial? Because I think, you know, I offer free returns. So I always pay for that return shipping, but that original shipping sometimes on some items is a different story and ebay allows you to do it you know if you don't abuse it man i might have to put this down hold on a minute you might remember me picking this up at a sale I'm trying to think i picked another similar one up i want to say i paid either five or ten because there's two of them i picked up by the way if you ever get the glow ones the cars themselves sell for great money but this one had an issue if you get the glow set you can get you know 100 200 dollars whatever just depends on the condition but this one had an issue with the controllers. Neither one worked. And I think everything was there. And I'm like, just sell it as is. Let's get it in, get it out, make some money. Sold it for $40 plus ship. Speaking of getting it in and getting it out really quick and making some money on it, we decided to do auctions on all this Barbie stuff. I'm going to have to pick it all up. It's in different places here. I'll take it all out there and show it to you out there. But here's one of the lots right here. We were all into this for 20 bucks, and it also included two more pieces. One of them is that car back there. I'm like, I'll get my money back from the car. And all of it, I was hoping for $150 to $200 on these four lots. You've got just accessories here. These look like they're mostly late 90s. And then clothing. 
you know, nothing super old, nothing worth crazy amounts of money, but still pretty decent stuff. And I think a viewer bought one. There might have been two viewers in here. I'll thank you with some names and then some Barbies here. There's a couple Barbies in there that are worth 15 or so each. And the rest aren't really worth selling on their own. And then the accessories. But, I mean, how cool are these accessories? And we could have parted out quite a bit of stuff. But we just, like, you know, I'm like, hey, we're going to make a quick $80 to $100 profit on this if we do it auction minimum. And we didn't get quite what we wanted, but I think we're still about an 80 to $95 profit on these with two more pieces to go. And they're in and out quickly. Probably could have made double that if we would have taken our time on it, but it would have taken a lot of time. So the first thank you goes to Amy. Actually, there may be, hold on a minute. All right, as I'm looking at this, Kelly, it says is a repeat buyer, but she bought two pieces. So Kelly, you may be a viewer or not. If you are, thank you. If you're not, thank you anyways, but you're not hearing this. Amy says, hi, she bought, what did you buy? The accessory lot. And that was uh, $29.11 out the door, $22.50 plus shipping. Kevin and family, fur babies, I'm a lurker on all your channels. For some reason, I'm unable to comment on any videos. Really? You, hmm. So that means that you've probably been blocked for some reason. And I certainly can't imagine why. I block very, very few people. So, but I do have some mods that do it from time to time. So send me a message, maybe an email or something, and I can go look at the names and see. Not quite sure. Uh, user air, and I'm sure, wait a minute, user air, I'm sure. I'm not sure. Uh, but I want to take the chance here. Thank you for all you do. Genuine people can be hard to come by these days. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. All my best to you and yours, Dave and Carrie too. Amy Brooksedge on eBay would love a sticker if you have any left. Thank you so much, Amy. I appreciate it. Hope you enjoy it. Sold a Red Hot Chili Peppers shirt, modern. And this was from that sale we did with Dave down there at the 301 and along with some other folks as well. And it sold for $9.50 plus shipping. And this one went to a viewer. By the way, I think we had 25 sales today and five of them were to viewers. So Really do appreciate that. What is that, 20%? Do I do my math right? Hello, Kevin and family saw this shirt on the video with Dave and I'm happy to buy it from you. Sorry, Dave. I'll be, it'll be a little big, but my partner and I love the peppers. So I'll tell you what, it's a double XL, but it does not look like a double XL at all. It probably will fit you just fine. At any rate, uh, you are one of my favorite YouTubers. Keep up the great work. Even if you pass on cool lunch boxes, she says. So that's pretty funny. Marianne Angels Vintage Treasures. Okay, so I will say this. I I think I know which lunchbox you're talking about. It was at a sale. I might have bought that from that sale actually, and it was at an, it was at a sale that it had a Daniel Boone lunchbox on the table. And a lot of times, y'all, I'll edit stuff out. That that sale had a lot of high prices, right? They were priced at eBay value or under eBay value by maybe twenty five percent. And so that Daniel Boone lunchbox in that, it was, I think they're asking $100 for it. And so I had tons of people tell me how dumb I was for passing up, passing up the lunchbox. And I saw it. It was a $100 lunchbox. And it's worth in good condition up to $200. But okay condition, $150. Eh condition, you know, $100 and down. And it was better than eh. So I was thinking in my mind, it might be best case $150 lunchbox, in which case I'm not gonna spend a hundred bucks on it. So I've always talked about when in doubt, part it out. And then I do stuff like this where I'm trying to get stuff out of here. <laughs> and it's just a kind of a function of how crowded it is in here right now and how much I'm buying and how much we're processing. But I still love to do the when in doubt, part it out. And this was a perfect candidate because it wasn't a complete board game and it was a pretty nice board game. Torpedo Run, I believe is what it's called, Floor Wars. And it's like a giant battleship game. Here, I'll just show you a picture of it up here because I don't want to tear apart that bag right there. And it was a charity sale. We did not pay very much for it, but you know, you could have listed everything if it was complete for 60 to 100. We decided to part the whole thing out and get a little bit more, actually. This particular lot right here sold for $24 plus shipping. And you, know, you can see how big these pieces are. That's one of the battleships right there. Or, I don't even know, some of them are submarines. The next one, I think, is the very last one of these. I hope it's in here. I hope we didn't miss quantity something. It is wet and wild. Well, I don't know where it is. Hmm, I hope I didn't screw this up. 
All right, I found it. I think we had moved some stuff when I put a bunch of, of the makeup and stuff in here. I took this one out because it's a little different because it's not really makeup. It is a, I don't even know what it is, hand mirror. There you go. Wet and Wild. This was some retail arbitrage that was on deep discount, like 90% off at Walmart. And so my wife picked it up thinking she could make some money, and she did. She did make some money. This one went out for $16. Free shipping, and I think she's into it for like a dollar. And it went to Elizabeth, the nerdy picker. So she is over there in our Trashed Cash Discord for the Trashed Cash podcast. And she has a channel. Looks like you've been putting out videos here. You put one out two weeks ago and then put a short out just a couple days ago. So thank you for that. I appreciate it. And I appreciate you. You've been hanging around this channel for a long time and supporting us. So thank you, Elizabeth. We do really, really do appreciate it. And you left a message. I should probably read it. Thanks, Kevin, for always having cool stuff. <laughs> the nerdy picker. Thank you. I just saw that Elizabeth bought something else too so i take that back so six of the 25 sales were to viewers and here it is right here i picked this up not long ago i couldn't resist because it was a sealed copy of the partridge family and it's the entire series so complete series right there that sold for 25 dollars plus shipping so we'll put those together heading right back here and we're gonna grab something else from that shelf this also came from the 301 sale i gotta get the right one buzz jr that's not it they're up here there it is right there and this little set right here sold for 28 dollars plus shipping i'll show it to you when i set it down here and there you go uh, adh dave bought these in a lot in that video and then we divvied up everything and i ended up with the video game because he ended up with a lot of the anime stuff because i got no idea what it is <laughs> so that's headed out of here 28 dollars plus shipping all right turner's here with some commonwealth comedy what do you got bud okay so what do you call someone with no body and a nose? With no body and a nose. What do you call somebody with no body and a nose? I don't know. What do you got? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. <laughs> I like it. All right. He's got the hat on, y'all. You're going to sign that hat, and we're going to auction it off on next Wednesday's whatnot. We're going to give the money to Vinsky. Okay? I think his birthday is coming up. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right, buddy. Bye. While Turner was signing this right there. We just had two more sales. Cut code knife and a I don't even know what well, I'll show you on the next episode, I guess. At any rate, we sold a Velociraptor. I think we're into these for like two bucks. Dollar fifty. We bundled them up at the 301. So I think it's listed for 17, did 5% off, 16 and change. Free shipping on this. There's not a whole lot of money in it, but I'm still kind of happy we did it because we had quite a few of them. And that'll ship out in the right box. It'll ship out in the eight ounce rate. So you figure five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're making like seven fifty profit on that one right there. And I'm always happy when it goes to a viewer. This one went to Chris. CJ's locker finds. Really need some unicorns for my granddaughter. I keep finding cool dinos for my grandson, but only one Disney unicorn so far. Come on, Kevin. Our granddaughter is counting on you. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. I don't know. I did have a few unicorn things. I guess we don't have any left. I better get on the lookout. So if you watch this video with my wife in it, you'll remember her picking this or talking about it. I don't think it was on camera. She's like, and I picked up a Golden Girls thing for Reagan. And this is it. Reagan loves the Golden Girls. As do I, for that matter. As does my wife. So I don't think Turner loves them that much, but we like them. Anyway, this was in there. Sometimes they sit in my car for a day or two, but I had to go somewhere that day. So I took everything out and I put it in the shed and I didn't even think about it. Came back a couple days later and I saw that item sitting there and I'm like, oh, I'm going to get this out of here because my wife wanted to give it to Reagan. We usually take stuff that's new and we'll put it in a drawer or something and pull it out at a birthday or Christmas and kind of add on to the stuff we've already bought them. And that's what I did. So this was inside in a drawer for that, for that purpose. And I saw it pop up as a sale. I'm like, what the heck? And so somehow, Bubba's girlfriend had got a hold of it and had a picture and listed the thing. And I picked it up after that had happened, thinking it hadn't happened yet. So, at any rate, I guess I'm in trouble. I'll have to buy one of these now because I'm shipping this one out for Reagan for Christmas or her birthday. For those of you out there that buy DVDs and sets and seasons, some are way better than others. That 70s show is syndicated everywhere. You can find it. And so that being the case, you can't get as much money for them. And this is a huge set. Actually, this goes way back, y'all. I might even see if I can remember this. 
I can't grab them all with one hand. I'm going to take two loads here. You might remember this sale. I can't even remember. It had Fair Fawcett poster in it. I might throw it up here if I can find it. And I put it in a little thing outside of my front porch, and I forgot that it was there for like a year and a half. And I was moving stuff around. I'm like, oh my gosh, how is this still sitting in here? It was because a lot of that stuff was smoky and stuff, and I didn't want to bring it in here, and that was in there, and I smelled them, and I'm like, that smells a little smoky too. And I put them in there, but at any rate, they're sealed, so... Sold them for $30 plus shipping. Next one's a little bolo for those of you who don't know. I gotta find it. See how many drawers I have to open to find it this time. They're Miracle Ear. And this one happened to be, it's it's sold as is. But there's no model on it. There's, the batteries were dead. I didn't test it. A lot of these Miracle Ears, you get the right model and stuff, can go for hundreds of dollars. This I sold as is and there's no model number on it. It's an older one. And it put it on auction. Probably could have put it out there by it now, but I decided to put it out there on auction because it was as is, no guarantees. It's over sixty-seven dollars for shipping. Next one's a justice bag that I picked up at a charity sale. I probably paid a couple bucks. Now I gotta find this one. Hmm. I think that's it right there. Yep, that's it right there. And I think justice. Whoop, justice might even be out of business. Am I right, y'all? Justice out of business. And that one was new. Nothing amazing, but it's a nice little bag. And that one sold for $20 plus shipping. And that one says repeat buyer. So I looked above it and somebody bought some. Well, Mandy bought another item. So I'm assuming you're a viewer, Mandy. If you are, thank you. If you're not, thank you anyways. And I can't find it. <laughs> it's right here. It is a Pioneer Woman Wildflower Kitchen Dish Towel for 10 bucks. And I've looked for five minutes, can't find it. So I'm gonna call my wife down here. She says I have man eyes and I can't find anything. So maybe she can find it. The next one, I do know where it is, I think. Maybe I don't. No, I think it's, no, I think it's up here. No, it's not here either. Hmm, where did I put it? I'm gonna say it's in here. I just might've buried it. Finally dug them out of there and there's two different types. So I had to look to see which one it is. They're both stone cold WWE bandanas. New old stock, and this one sold for $27 plus shipping. The next one's been on there for just a very short amount of time, and it sold. And it fooled me at the sale I picked it up at. I thought it was what it was on the box, and it's not. Here's the box. Cabbage Patch Wakusa Valley, Kusas. But this is a different set, I believe. And I'll show the picture up here. And it sold fairly quickly for 30 bucks plus shipping. <laughs> no name, Megan Biscuit. <laughs> Biscuit. That cat loves you. All right, what do you got? Three of them, I think. William, Hans, and David. William, Hans, and David. Two rowdy stickers and a t-shirt. I think that's right. Is yep. that right? Okay. No, and they all three got stickers and David caught them. Gotcha. Oh, too. really? Okay. Well, all right, no name, you want to say goodbye? No? Okay, bye. <laughs> yeah, I don't care. <laughs> Thank you, baby. Bye, and don't forget to get your sticker at CommonwealthPicker.com. Hey, I just wanted to remind you we're doing our second of six summer shows next Wednesday on Whatnot. Should be a good time. We're going to have some good deals on there as well, I hope. You know, stuff gets outbid all the time. But we're going to have some giveaways, and that'll definitely be free. So come check us out. It's been a fun time so far. We really do appreciate the support. You guys are awesome to us. We appreciate you stopping by as always, and I can't wait to see you next.